Now you can do whatever shit you want to do, Steve. Anything at all? It should all be good. Oh, I don't... Oh, hey, wait. Hold up. One moment. Okay. Now I have the bees up. Now I know what the bees are going to be. Now you know what the bees are going to be. That's That's great news. I mean, I'm surprised that you haven't memorized them, what with us playing this so consistently. Okay, Steve. Yeah. You you know how Lupin the Third Part Six started airing? <laughs> I do. Let's get let's get to the meat of this conversation right away. You know how I've kept trying to play this video game throughout watching Lupin the Third Part Six, and I just can't concentrate on either. And then I'm just like, wait, we need to watch Lupin again. And then I'm like, wait, no, I'm doing such a bad job that what we've recorded can't be used. Well, yeah, I mean. You've turned into a real Luponatech. Am I the seventh? You could be. Damn. Lupon the third, part seven. I'm here for it. Lupon the third, part six. Everyone's afraid of it, but it's very good. Yeah, it's like... Oh shit, Steve, sorry, you have to do work here. I've got to do work? Yeah, what tonics do you want me to use? Uh, the first four. Okay. I can only use three if I use Uh, the first three, then. Okay. Let me just check out what these first three are, just so (laughs) I know what they are. Okay. 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 We're we're ready. We're not prepared. Loop on the third, part six. People don't like it, but it's very good. It's strange. Oh. I don't remember what the controls are for this game. You'll figure it out. We've been watching Lupin Third Part Six. Something that's good that people people don't like it. I you know I think I think it's it's one of those things that like I, people are really bad at watching ongoing episodic TV mm-hmm. uh, or serialized TV, any kind of ongoing show, because it's like any time that they talk about it, I feel like they don't know that there's going to be another episode next week. Steve, why can't I get this key? <laughs> did I? Did you put do a tonic that may, means you can't? Oh, you you got to use your tongue. Oh, oh, oh uh-oh. yeah. Uh oh. How do you play this video game? It's a great question. Boy, I was not. I, I see. I was gonna. I thought maybe you were doing a thing that like made it so your tongue didn't work. I was like, uh oh, did I do a bad tonic? No, I've been too busy uh, watching Lupin the Third Part Six as we've discussed already. It's pretty good. Pretty good. They have a part two episode, which applies to freaks like me. They do a a much more faithful part two episode than any of the Red Jackets in part five. Oh, yeah. It's like a real part two episode. It even has all the problems of a part two episode. (laughs) All of them. All of them. But it's good because they did that. Not because they did not that. Not because just, they did that. But I, I take your yeah. meaning. Yeah, yeah. They did what worked. It's good. I like it. I, it's like... It's been like... Uh, uh, hey, Steve. What? You, have, you, you ever hear the, the, the song One Week by uh, the Bare Naked Ladies? I have. I. You said, you said uh, it's been, so... Yeah, I just yeah, yeah, yeah. To, just wanted to... Oh shit, I went to the bad place. Sorry. It's okay, it worked out. Sorry, we're also playing a video game here, but the important thing is Loop on the Third Part 6, it's good. It is good, and I I just... It's one of those things where it's like nobody... Like, I've got no... I don't really have strong thoughts on it right now, because it's like... It's so in the middle of whatever it is it's doing that I'm like, Mm -hmm. it's pointless to judge it right now. Also, I'm pretty sure you could find text chats from me verbatim where I'm like, I don't give a shit about this Sherlock Holmes bullshit. I am here for part two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even come down here. I, I come guess down here. if you want If you hold against bomb. the wall, the queasies can't get you. You get an extra bomb. What more do you want? Free bomb. Mm-hmm. I was just excited because I knew there was a thing over there. Which I remembered, 
because we keep playing this over and over again, like we said. Yeah. We keep playing it over and over again. You've never gotten past this level. Yeah, because I can't concentrate because we just keep playing this game and watching Lupin the Third Part Six. So I can't concentrate on Specifically, episode four, of the killers. Especially what? that what? one. This is uh, just video game camera. This is <laughs> this is intended. This is the way oh, video there games work. Yeah, see. Damn. Get Platonic on the phone. They fucked this one. Don't worry. I'm sure I could contact Tegan once again. And, uh... I'm already surprised they, they responded to me the first time, so... Wait, was that... Is there something back there? Oh, I guess you gotta get this Nothing first. I give a shit about. Hey. More bombs! More bombs. There's a lot of bombs. They can give you, you a lot of bombs. Can you kill this with a bomb? Oh, yeah. You can kill that bomb. There you go. That's the reason they keep giving us bombs, is because oh. they want you to kill the, the queezies. But because we are recording, I am in complete, like, oh, it's it's quiet time mode. I need to I need to enter um, the gamer zone. The gamer zone. Steve, what do bears do? Hibernation. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm in full hibernation mode anytime I play a video game for a YouTube where I'm like, it's time. No, this is this is mine. I can't give this up, even though I have to give this up to pick up a key, which we already knew that you had to use your tongue to pick up a key. None of us forgot that. No. None of us. How could anybody ever forget that simple truth? Mm-hmm. It's just normal. Laylee, Laylee, come back. I always have, ah, uh, no. See, I nor, okay. If I wasn't in hibernation, I would have used one of those bombs to kill one of those guys, the Queezies, yeah. And then it would have been a little bit easier to get past their little trap and then get the the quillians. Which are the big quills. And we all remember that. And has not had been a thing that I had to correct in the let us play. Sounds like you're being truthful. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows I only remember Oh fuck! What was that? I was hoping it would go down instead of like just immediately bouncing off. There's an episode, um, the the enemy at 500 meters. You know. Oh yeah, yeah I hear that that yeah. one's very good. Oh, it is re it is really good. It is a surprisingly like not part two part two episode. Like it was like oh shit, there's like emotional stakes here, and the characters are doing things. It's weird. Hey. I, uh, I'm looking forward to that last stretch. We've, we've got a ways to go. We're at, like, 116 or something. Oh. Just to warn you... We're in a pretty rough patch right now. Oh, yeah, you're in a, you're in a weird place. The one about Jigen's hat, I don't think I like. Okay. Like, it's not, like, a bad episode, but, like... I'm trying to think what the last one we watched was. I think maybe it was the Mona Lisa one. That one was actually great. That one's like, oh shit, this is part four, part yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you watched the the first episode of the part one dub they're doing, right? Yeah. I Pretty was, good dub. Yeah, I was really surprised by how good it was. Are they you do... ready for me to talk shit? Oh no, you have something smart to say, actually. Oh, I, I was just going to say I was surprised, like, like you know... I, I feel like uh, we've talked before about, like, Tony Oliver's performance is really good, but it seems, like, very specific to, like, a, a certain, like, energy that that character has. Uh, and, like, the part one Lupin is pretty different, so I wasn't sure how that would translate. And he, like, knocks it out of the park. Yeah, he, he definitely did just, like, oh, here's a weird Lupin. And I think, like, like it's the voice that I like, so, like, it's hard to, like, be very judgmental with me, but, like, damn, I did like that voice for the part one Lupin. Yeah. He did it. He did it. Weird. 
Are you ready for me to talk shit about it, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this talking shit is very applicable only to very specific people who know that... Uh, Kerbifer? You know, the, you know this man? The Batman. Kerbifer. Uh, is he the one who was the Byleth guy and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he no, was the Byleth not. man. Yeah, yeah, he was the Byleth man. Lost his job because he broke NDA. But before he did that... I thought he lost Very his job bad because man. he was a creep. Hey. He's a bad man. Never liked him. Howdy. Before I return you to your favorite Loop on the Third talk show, slash the place where I air my grievances with someone who is very rude to my friends and I, which turns out to be a blip on the radar of very heinous shit that this person has done. I wanted to point out that there's a Dr. Quack dirigible flying in the background, and I think that's very neat. It also shows up in the alternate state, which I could have pointed out then, but uh, you're going to see next episode that maybe there's some brain problem situations about. Uh, and I just wanted to point it out because I think it's very neat because, spoilers, Dr. Quack isn't in this video game. Uh, you see uh, the dirigible in this level and the next. There's the Quack bombs, but aside from that, there's not really a presence for Dr. Quack. What is Dr. Quack up to? Is Dr. Quack hanging out in this dirigible like, peace, I'm not getting involved? Has capital B commandeered Dr. Quack's dirigible to use for this fascist thing that he's doing now? Who could say? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out in Tukulele, because it's probably going to be called that. I guess. Back to the episode. And as a part of the unfortunate community that would know this person, Ah, oh, fuck, I think. Oh, no, I got them all. Yeah, you got them all. Woo, woo. Is he in the part one dub? He's he's cast under additional voices, so I don't uh -oh. know who he is. So he's probably like, I don't, I haven't seen it. He's probably PyCal. Who the fuck knows? I think he's you know man. if he was PyCal. He's a bad man. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone who's listening. Kerbifer's a bad man. <laughs> But that, that wouldn't be an additional voices credit. Bad man. It's important. He is in additional voices. Additional voices in part one, uh, in the first episode of part one, so, you know. Yeah. Probably like one of the mechanics that goes, hey, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm out here for clout and will betray anybody for anybody. I mean... That's a bad episode of TV. Like, it's a good dub, but it's a bad episode. The only reason it ever gets talked about is because it's the first one. Yeah. Why do they have Lupin race a car in the first... Like, I know he's good at cars, but what a weird first episode. Is Lupin burning? But is he still burning? That's later. That is later. Also better. Yeah. Yeah. Still it's very Bumbleson. Strange. Yeah, it, it's Bumbleson. Thank you, Steve. You know I would, I would just do this forever. <laughs> uh, this is Bumbleson. It's uh, Harry Robinson, the design director. I don't have a joke based off of this. All of my jokes were based off of either something that I just knew, or based off of the website. Or based off I of Loop on the Third Part One through Six, or Bye Bye Lady Liberty, or Mystery of Mama. Or Alcatraz Connection. Or Dragon of Doom. Or Island of Assassins. Or the Castle of Cagliostro. You know I wouldn't mention anything about Island of Assassins. Neither of us remember anything about that I movie. remember that the beginning of it has some, like, fun animation, and then the rest of it happens. Lupin joins the Phantom Troop. Yeah. The bad guy has his gun. Uh -huh. I think I had a third thing that I remembered at one point, but that's all I got now. They've all got poison in them. Fujiko's there. Fujiko's always there. Yeah, I know. There's like a, a lady who's like the other, that movie's lady who's not Fujiko and she dies. They always have a woman that's not Fujiko that dies. Yeah, sometimes it's a child and they don't die. They make bad jokes in the dub that don't exist. Yeah. We still got it. 